Hi there, hey there, I'm Red. Welcome back to the garage, the shop, the cave, the cave of wonders. Anyway, we yeah, I know I'm blasting them out this weekend, doing our multiple table saw reviews. But before I get into that, have you headed over to Patreon to vote for the next the next series of videos that I'm going to be working on? Again, anybody can vote. You don't have to donate any money. Uh, but anyway, head on over there. Let me know what videos you guys want to do next. Also, don't forget to hit the old like and subscribe. Come on, it doesn't cost a thing. And, you know, make affairs coming up. You want to be there. We're going for pizza afterwards. Pizza and beer. Pizza and bears. Pizza, bear and beards. Anyway, so we're talking about entry-level table saws before. And I, I was showing the rigid, the old rigid, uh, which is the same as the Craftsman, all made by Emerson. Great saws, great saws. Uh, I got to be honest, I don't think, honestly, for a, a discount saw, an uh, inexpensive saw, that you can buy one new these days that, that's worth having. Um, they're all either those little small, cheap, you know, bench saws that are just kind of a joke, or you, uh, they're, you know, your bigger hybrid saws that are getting a, a, a bit expensive. You're in your $600 range for your basic decent one. Now, there's some contractor saws out there that are, are fairly okay. Don't get me wrong. You know, DeWalt makes a, a good contractor saw, and there's some other good contractor saws. But, you know, then it's a contractor saw, and you're looking at something that's, you know, it's usually direct drive and whatnot. And, and for in the shop, you want something that's that's belt driven. It'll give you a smoother blade. Heck, loss, let loss. Yeah, heck, <laughs> less lot noise. <clears throat> but for you guys who are, who are worried about space and stuff, you know, not everyone's got a, a big shop like the bear does. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, let, let that sink in. But, <clears throat> you know, maybe, maybe you want something a little bit smaller. And some of those bench saws may appeal to you. Well, this might be the saw for you. Again, this isn't a new saw. This has been out for a while, but if you hunt around, you can find one of these. And what I'm talking about is this jet saw here. I'll have the, I don't remember the model. I'll have it, I'll have to post it down below. This saw, they only made it for a little while. It was real popular over in Europe and abroad. But this is, in fact, Craftsman makes one that looks almost identical. But as far as I understand, that one is a direct drive. This is, to my knowledge, the smallest belt-driven saw that you could buy. And, and as far as I know, I don't know anybody who's making one currently. This saw is quite the little, uh, quite the little surprise. So it's designed as a bench saw, but it also has these legs you can you can bolt on. They slide in over the other legs. They add that shelf down there and turn it into a decent-sized little standing saw. But, I mean, it, it's, it's cheaper and feels cheaper in every sense of the word. But as far as these inexpensive, cheap, you know, bench saws go, this Jet one feels about as good as they get. Uh, it had a nice little miter gauge. Now, note, the miter gauges on these, just like everything else, they're small. They're not standard. You're not going to use a standard gauge with this. And you also notice, maybe notice up there that they're beveled, so that miter gauge doesn't just pop out of there. <laughs> You'll notice if you listen to the other saws, it's a little bit louder, but it is way smoother, way quieter compared to a direct drive saw. Comes with a handy little cheapo plastic push stick. Has all your little accoutrement and whatnot. Now these, uh, also these, these wings here, they slide out. Now they, <laughs> I should say they extend. So you got a big gap there, but it's, it's big enough to support a surface. In fact, once you slide everything out, it actually gives you, technically speaking, a larger work surface than the rigid you can see there behind it. It's wider. It's got a little outfeed extension as well. It's, you know, it's not a saw that, that I would want to have to use every day. And why did I buy it? Well, I'll tell you why I bought it. I bought it so I could show you guys what what's out there and what you can get. It also doesn't hurt that I paid $140 for this. 
And this is a song, guys, that a lot of people know about. Well, I should say a lot of people know about it. That a few people know about it, and the people who know about it know the quality that it is. You know, the Jet Jet makes some good stuff. You know, granted, they've, like most major uh, machine companies, they don't make quite probably the quality they used to make, but they do make some good stuff out there. I would say they're right on par, right near Delta, as far as the quality of machines. And the people who know this, they, they want it, especially people looking for that specific size factor. Anyway, the bear turned around, I, and I sold that saw for $250. Now, now guys, I got to tell you, and that's going to, I'm going to probably do another video on this here shortly, which is how to buy and sell tools and, and whatnot. And again, I don't do this as a business. I, I do this because I'm, because I'm fickle. <laughs> I get new tools and I want to try them. And I decide there's something about, I don't like about it. And I have to turn around and get something else to try it. I'm the same way with everything. I'm the computers and cars and guns and everything. I'm, I'm cons I'm worse than a woman with her purses. Constantly having to, to get something new. Well, that one was, that was last month's table saw. We got to get this month's table saw. No, nah, not that bad, but yeah. hold on. I, I got to beat a cub. What are you doing? Come here. I'm going to eat you on, on the screen. Come here. Hold on. Come over here. Hello. What do you say? Sorry. For? Being loud. Being loud. Now what's going to happen to you? I'm going to get eaten. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> the carnage. Oh, there we go. That's it. Oh, yeah, it was delicious. Oh, a little barbecue sauce. Oh, so so tender. Remember, remember, you got to eat them before they turn six. After that, they get a little gamey. All right, guys. So as I was saying, you know, buying and selling, I don't do it for a living. I don't do it to make money. I also am not one of those low lowlifes you see on Craigslist going around spamming people and, and saying, you know, oh my gosh, if I have one more person say, what's your best price? I'm like, well, I can go 5 million if you want. I, I, my best price can get up there or, or trying to give me some stupid lowball you know, offer and wasting my time and theirs and everyone else's. Guys, that, that, that isn't clever. You, you keep doing that kind of stuff. All you're going to do is build a name for yourself as, as a cheapskate and somebody who, who's trifling and likes to waste other people's time. You know, a man shows up, he pays cash, he, he deals in person. If, if you don't like the price they're offering, you know, give them, for good grief, give them a reason why. Don't just sit there and be like, well, can you sell it to me for cheaper? <laughs> That's just like asking them to hand you money. And, and why should they do that? Really, you're not. And you may think, well, I got a screaming deal this one time. But if it gets around, you know, people will start thinking of you as that guy who takes advantage of other people. In all these cases, when I talk about the prices on this, these are things that I saw that hundred forty dollars. That was his asking price. He was moving out of town and they miscalculated about what they could pack. They were going to Hawaii, I think. And you can only pack so much. And all of a sudden they realized, holy cow, we forgot about this saw. What are we going to do? We can't just leave it here. We got to be gone tomorrow. So they threw it up there on, on Craigslist. And and Bob's your uncle. You know, I saw it first, swooped in and, and got it. But that's also what I say when I say think ahead. You know, you can't just go, well, I'm going to go on Craigslist and find me a $140 table saw this, this weekend. Okay, well, maybe you can, but I don't know if you're going to want that table saw. What you do is you get what you can get and then you plan ahead and you're prepared for when the opportunity comes around. Trust me, guys, if you sit there and you try to tell some guy who's overpriced his saw, he's listed it for $500 and, you know, everyone knows all over the interwebs and, and you can show him proof signed by the president and whatnot that it's only a $200 saw. He's not going to change his mind just because you told him he was an idiot. Sure, he's an idiot, but he's not going to sell it to you at that price. He's not going to sell it to you anywhere close because he's going to be mad because you told everyone and proved to him that he's an idiot. So you've just wasted your time. You may get somebody to come down a bit and you and maybe even a bit more. But in the long run, you're going to end up wasting a lot of other people's time. You're going to end up wasting your time. Your best bet is to sit there and find stuff that's priced a uh, price right for you to begin with, or at least close. Anyway, guys, there you have it. 
Another great option here for, uh, uh, you know, a beginner entry level saw, especially for those of you using a small space. The real takeaway from here is, is not to try to get you to go out and try to find this specific saw because this is a, this is a hard to find one. I awfully admit that. But to let you know that there, there's little hidden niches all over the market. You know, there's there's all sorts of little hidden gems that a lot of people don't realize are out there. And if you keep your eyes on, on the, uh, the old Craigslist and whatnot, you'll find them. And if you're prepared and you haven't wasted your money on other stuff, you know, you can be the one who swoops in and gets those deals. And then if later, if you bought that saw right or that drill press or whatnot, and later you decide you want to upgrade to something bigger and better, get that old saw stop or whatnot, well, guess what? When you turn around and sell it, you're going to get your money back, if not more. Anyway, do I need to say it? Like and subscribe. Hit up Patreon so you can vote on the, the next list of videos for the old bear to do. Head on over to Maker Fair next week for bears, beers, and pizza. And as always, shine on. Uh, I lost my animation. Where's, where's, where's my animation? Come on. Where'd you go? Where? Uh, paralyzed. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, that was kind of freaky. All right, guys. <laughs> Take care.